Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display meta field on Shopify product page. So we're going to start by going to the settings section. If you click on the bottom left corner of your screen, you'll be able to find a menu that looks like this. Now you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you find this custom data options. Through here, you'll be able to see the meta field definition or the bunch of meta field that you can customize. Now, if you still don't know about what meta field actually is, I'm just going to run through a little bit so that you understand. Basically, meta fields help you to customize the functionality and appearance of your Shopify store by letting you save specialized information that isn't usually captured in the Shopify admin. Now, in order to further understand that before I get back to this part right here, I'm just going to show you a little quick on how my product page currently looks like. So I'm going to go to my online store settings and then I'm going to go ahead and click view store. If I go to the catalog section, basically this is how my product will look like. If I go to this one, it's going to show me the product. I didn't really put any information to it. As you can see, this is basically what you need, but it also a little bit boring. So we got the name, the price, the quantity, add to cart, as well as the buy it now. So basically Metafield will help you to customize your page so that it doesn't have to follow the templates that Shopify gave you. I hope this will give you a little bit more understanding about what Metafield actually is. So let's go back to the settings. We're going to go to the setting section and we're going to go to this custom data. Now, as I said earlier, you can actually customize all of the meta fields listed here. But for today, I'm just going to focus on the product section. Sorry, one more time before we get back to the setting section, we're going to go to these product sections here and I'm just going to show you how the product editor section looks like. So this is what we will have and what we will see if we're trying to edit our product. We've got the name, the description, the media, the category, pricing, inventory, shipping, variants, and then we got category, meta fields. So this is all that we got. Now we're going to really, really go to the settings section. So again, go to the settings section and we're going to go to this product part and we're going to start and add a definition. Let's call this one maybe materials. Yeah, let's call this material. And this is what it looks like. Currently we got the name and then we got the namespace and key. And you can add a description if you want just so that we know what we are talking about. So let's say it's going to say things like the material of the product and I'm going to click single line text and I'm going to click multi line text as the type. Now we don't really have to do anything with the validations right here. So we're just going to continue and click on save. Now that we got this edit, we're going to go into our product page editor. So I'm going to go to the online store editor, go to customize. And then we're going to change the page to our products. Let's say I want to go to this one right here. And you can see that it doesn't really have anything to it. What we are going to do is we're going to click add block and I'm going to choose collapsible row as my block and basically this is you know the type of things that we can close and open I'm going to put this right below description if I had any because I didn't really add it but you can always add it all of your description on your product page like the one that I've shown earlier. 
So now that we got this collapsible row, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and then we can change the simple. So let's see. I chose a leather as the symbol. Then for the row content, let's say made with 100% milk cotton or something like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now as you can see, when I add the text right here, it's going to show here. But there is going to be one problem if we are doing it this way. Let's try and go to another product page, which is this one. And you can see now that we got this collapsible row options added. The exact same descriptions are going to show here. And how can we possibly change this? First, we want to go back to this collapsible row, which I forgot to change the name to. So this is supposed to say material. All right. And delete this row content right here. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now we're going to go back to our editor, which is right here. Then you want to go to the product section. Now we are going to take a look at the product sections right now and see if we have anything that different. Now you can see that once I scroll down, we'll be able to see this product meta field that we've just created, which is the material one. And we can now insert our text through here. So let's say this one is the one that says made with 100% cotton milk yarn. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back and click on save. If you're having a problem with this meta field not appearing on your product page, you can go back to the setting section the exact location where we created the meta field, which is the product here. And you want to make sure that you pin this. So if you don't find it on your product page, that's possibly because you did not pin this to the product. So make sure you do this in order to be able to see it on your product page. So you can see now that I got this right here and I'm going to go to another product and type in another one. So let's say that this one is going to be no, just regular cotton. Then go ahead and click on save. And now let's see how it looks like on our online store. So this is my product page. And if I click on the material, it says made with 100% cotton. Right, I made a typo, ignore that. It's supposed to say cotton milk yarn. And let's take a look at this one. I believe this is the other one that I added. Made with 100% cotton. So that is how you can change it. Also, when you go back to the product setting, make sure that on the row content, you click on this connect dynamic source option and click on this product one and make sure you choose the right meta field, which is the one that we've just created earlier. I don't think I need two, so I'm just going to delete one. All right, and then it's going to show the meta field that you've just created, which is this one right here. And that's basically it. That is the very basic way on how you can display meta fields into your product page on your Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.